Hey everybody, uh, thanks for uh, sending your inquiry, your emails in. This video is about um, wattage. And so I'm actually going to do a quick little video series here on the bottom. I'm going to, I'm going to put it on the main page for the benefit of anybody that comes to the site. Uh, but it did come from a webinar, and uh, this video series has taken off of all of the questions that were submitted, uh, which were great questions, by the way. So let me see if I can answer a few of them here today. Um, by the way, I don't know if you know if you can see uh, with this lighting, definitely have some dark circles here uh, this morning. And uh, what I did last night is I actually did a uh, steam session, I think a little bit too late. And so what can happen is we really have to properly hydrate. Uh, after steam session. I normally know better, um, but just keep that in mind uh, that you may want to leave a few hours before sleep so you can replenish electrolytes and properly drink um, after your session. Anyway, so the question of wattage, and we all go on these different pages and we see different various wattage levels of machines. And in general, uh, some companies will try to sell you on the fact that they use far less power than other ones uh, you know, especially if they have an instant type of steam function or something like that. And for the most part, this is generally just a bunch of marketing BS. Uh, the difference between most of the brands out there is negligible. Uh, we're talking about a few cents you may save with some of them. So the question is, is, is that feature worth paying? you know, several hundred dollars more for, uh, for, you know, this brand over here that tries to sell you that it's, uh, you know, a lot less uh, kilowatt hours and cents per kilowatt hours. So in general, all of them don't really use that much. So as far as the different breakdown between kilowatts, and that has very much to do with uh, how much ionization power, how much steam power is behind that to produce um, a quantity or volume of steam in the space. So depending on how big your space is, and in general, if you've talked to a few salespeople or customer service people at these companies, they'll always ask you, you know, square footage and the full dimensions so they can get the full volume of your space as well as the materials used. They just basically have a formulation where they can then break that down to knowing how many how much wattage power the generator is going to need to actually properly fill that space but not overfill it. So I don't know if you've ever experienced how uncomfortable it is to have a generator that was not properly, um, you know, run through the formula and the wattage is a little too high, so it's producing way too much steam and you feel like a lobster in there uh, getting steamed alive. Uh, this happened to me at a couple of facilities and, and, those, and it's usually gyms and those types of places. They get a lot of complaints and it just gets very hard to breathe. You know, the generator type was basically classed uh, incorrectly for a much larger volume space than it was actually in. And so if you have the theory or idea that you're somehow going to produce more steam in a smaller space and get a better effect, um, don't go that path. It just, you produce too much steam and it becomes very hard and unpleasant to breathe. Uh, so if you have any more questions about wattage, it's a pretty simple, kind of straightforward topic, but it, it's mainly linked, again, to how much steam you're going to need for your space. And again, unless you live in an area where electricity is just off the charts, the price point, uh, then in general, you know, these different brands of machine that say you can save X amount or X amount, it's pretty negligible your actual annual savings.